Hey guys, so let's talk about exponents. Here we have 2 to the third power. This represents 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 multiplied by itself 3 times. The 2 here is called the base, and 3 is the exponent. Now in this situation, you don't necessarily just have to call it 2 to the third. Most people would actually say 2 cubed. Anything to the third power would be cubed. So here we have 4 cubed. Here we have 5 cubed. Whereas uh, something in the third power is called cubed, something in the second power would be squared. So here we have 2 squared, 3 squared. So general rules for exponents, when you are multiplying two numbers together that happen to share the same base, 2 squared here, 2 to the fifth here, you can actually add the exponents together. So that's why you get 2 to the seventh here. So if this were 5 cubed times 5 squared, what you would get is 5 to the fifth power. Here you have a similar situation except you're dividing. You have the same base, 2. All you need to do is subtract the exponents from each other, which is why you get 2 to the fourth power, right? 7 minus 3 is 4. When you have an exponent to the third or 2 cubed here, taken to another power, to the second power on the outside here, you can multiply the exponents together, which is why you get 2 to the 6th here. What you could do here is when you have something in parentheses and an exponent outside it is 1, you can distribute the exponent through. So that's why you get 2 cubed times 5 cubed here. Or you can multiply the things inside the parentheses to simplify it to 10 and take it 10 to the third power. And the last tip is that anything to the zeroth power is always going to equal 1. No matter how large the base is, no matter what the base is, you're always going to get it to equal 1. Whether it's 2 to the 0, 5 to the 0, 100 to the 0, a million to the 0, it's always going to equal 1. Moving on to PEMDAS, which stands for Please Excuse My Dear Aunt Sally, otherwise known as the Order of Operations. Each letter in this, in PEMDAS, represents parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. This is just an easy way to remember what order you need to approach certain problems with regarding these components, parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So here's a sample problem. We've got exponents, a multiplication problem, some addition, multiplication, and some parentheses. So according to PEMDAS, what we would need to do is parentheses first. So let's simplify the 1 plus 9 here and get 10. The next step here would be exponent. So we need to simplify the 2 to the 4th here, which is 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2, which is 8, times 2, which is 16. Now the next step would be multiplication and division. So we have negative 5 times 2, which gets us negative 10. And we have 5 times 10 here, which gets us 50. Now we just have subtraction and addition left, so we can just go left to right. So 16 minus 10 is 6, plus 7, plus 50, which gets us 6 times 6 plus 7 is 13, plus 50 is 63. Alright guys, so that's pretty much the video. Here's some questions for you guys to work on if you want to go over exponents and or um, order of operations. I'll be coming out with a video soon just working through these problems. And if you have any comments or questions about this stuff, feel free to leave a comment below or you can reach me on Twitter. Alright, hope this was helpful.